Good day, good day, it's Brian Wheeling here and welcome back to our Aston Martin Motorsport Manager F1 2021 Manager Mod Save. Alright, on to Mexico City is our next venue for this episode with a beautiful looking car in the sunlight there. You know, it would be nice if the background changed a little bit, but, um, you know, it's fine. It's sort of, I think this is our headquarters. Anyway, I'm getting a bit distracted here, but I do kind of want to know, yeah, it's probably somewhere around the headquarters. So, that being said, today we have Mexico City in the rain, so I'm very much looking forward to this race. It's going to be cloudy in practice, quality, and raining and sunning in the race, but I wouldn't be surprised if rain sneaks into Q3 or even Q1 or 2. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward three days and I'll be back from Mexico City prep. But before we get started, make sure to leave a like on the video if you're still enjoying the series and consider subscribing if you're not already. Let's continue on with Mexico City. So whatever you can do in three days is not very much. And um, we've basically improved the front wings slightly. We were working on them, so both front wings are a bit better. Um, the brakes are done in two days, so not going to use them this weekend, but they should be good for Interlagos and the rest of the season here at Aston Martin. We can use them. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go with Leave Stroll at home, Martini sponsor with the equal cars. Great to see. It still says um, heavy rain in the race. Oh, actually, now it's heavy rain. I think it used to be a sun and a cloud, but it does look like it's going to be a bit more clear in practice and qualifying. So... Speaking of practice and qualifying, I'm going to go ahead and do practice, Q1, Q2, I see you for Q3. Alright, qualifying three time here around Mexico City. We are looking pretty dominant um, this weekend, but anything can happen with the tyre wear come race day. Obviously, if you remember the first season, if you've been watching that long, um, we had some real, real tyre wear issues here around these two tracks in Mexico and Interlagos. It just burns the tyres alive, so they don't go anywhere near their projected time, so we're going to have to really manage that on Sunday, but we are starting on the soft tyre like always, so that will put us in prime position really. Um, it could be a routine weekend, let me just make sure the difficulty is right, hang on, because this feels quite easy. If you go to game settings, see, it says zero, but it's on hard, but I just like to sort of readjust it every time I jump into the game, but let's set them out for another go. Um... We're going to mount the softs just to try and try a different compound. And maybe because I forgot to pause it when I went in the preferences, we might not go to third run today. But it does look like we need it, to be honest. Um, we'll see how the boys go. There could be a little battle between them. Uh, Norris stays second. Russell goes first. Look, if they get to the pits now, they can probably go for a third lap. Russell will make it for a third lap. Does he need to go for a third lap? Not really, but we'll send him out. We've got the tyre sets. No, he doesn't need to go. If Russ goes and Lando doesn't, then what's the point? None of the other boys are going to come up to us. So, interestingly enough, Ricardo is third and Gas is down in eighth. And then the Ferraris and the Mercedes are splitting each other. Uh, Hamilton's splitting Leclerc, Schumacher. Schumacher's splitting Hamilton and Verstappen. And the McLarens are ran out of the top ten. Russell's on pole, however. Lando two tenths behind. So, hopefully, we see a bit of a contest between our boys today. On to the race. All right, race day today. And like I said, tie wear will be a main focus. Uh, soft tires, race trim, I see there the weight stripping's all done. Um, yeah, look, our reliability is helping us out big time. I sort of stopped tweaking with the setup because it was annoying me because I couldn't quite get it right. Oh, yeah, there's meant to be rain today, isn't there? Uh, when's that coming in? Oh, mate, that will save the tire wear battle completely, unfortunately. But, uh, I mean, it's good for us and bad for the same time. And I've missed the race start there, but it looks like our boys get a good jump. And if we zoom ahead a little bit... Oh, no, hang on. Daniel Ricciardo is going to... Send a move down Norris, get it done, and he's going to go, he's going to be on the inside, going to the next turn, and Russell, and he gets past. Fair play to him, Russell's staying with him though, around the outside, good move there by Russell now, he's sort of been put under pressure by Norris as well, the two Ferraris aren't far behind, Verstappen's dropped down to 14th, and Science all the way to the back of the grid, so he must have gone right, uh, wide somewhere. Gasly making his way up the grid, mostly because Verstappen's dropped off so badly. Um, Ricardo still in that P3, looking to try and overtake Norris again. Our tyres are over, about to reach the optimal zone, so we'll chuck him on neutral as the fastest lap works its way down the grid. Um, and yeah, that could be the race pretty much over now. I mean, Norris could still be under pressure by Ricardo. Ricardo's staying with him a little bit. They could have more cheating parts now. I think, I mean, I was going to say it's unfair to assume Red Bull are cheating every time they look somewhat competitive, but it's kind of the precedent they've built for themselves, so... I mean, yeah, it's happened like three times for each each driver. But 66 laps remaining. We're going to look to just manage these tyres, keep them in the right temperature. Because, um, you know, 
we may as well, I mean, they'll easily make it to the wet period. I think, actually, they're on 64%. How long will they last? I mean, this isn't really a good guide around here, so maybe we'll conserve them because we don't want to pit under dryers like everyone else is because they started on the super softs. So we've already got a massive gap. So we'll probably look to go through that first column of wet wet driving on the slick still and then look to pit in as we sort of enter that second one for the inters and we can just burn away on the inters like a madman because um well they're only going to be two columns then we're back on the slicks for a few laps and then we'll see out the race on the um inters so it's a bit of a weird one it's like a, a big wet period with a small little slick patch and we're nowhere near wets today so all on the intermediates and the wet running but our boys are burning through their tires see what i mean there's just no indication of how the tyres will go here. It's really unpredictable, but we take a bit of unpredictability today after our car performance has been so predictable. But we're still getting a gap here. Is they going to have to pit for a second time? And just uh, sort of solidifies my point. They're going to be running on absolute dead rubber if they don't pit. And our boys are going to struggle to make it to the end of it, to be honest. But we're going to keep them out there because I've already committed to this now. And maybe we'll put them on inters sooner than I would have liked. We'll give it another couple of laps. I mean, we're so far ahead, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to try and get the most pace. If we're going to try and win, we may as well try and win, you know what I mean? And we're going to bring in the boys now on the inters. Recharge the battery. Hopefully, we are not too close to the pits. Yeah, we should be fine. Lap times are slow. That's fine. So is everyone else's, mate. Don't worry about a damn thing. Recharge the battery, chuck it on safe, pit, and then neutral driving. Make sure they're using, make sure I change the tires. Hopefully, I'm not, I'm actually not confident that I changed Lando's tires. I want to be completely confident. I don't want to mess it up like last time. There we go. And he's used all his ERS. And we changed, oh, mistake on the tires. Not great, but we got that much of a gap. So. The wet period's officially started, and we're still a minute in front of the next driver, really. So, look, I'll bring it back when it's time to switch on to the slicks. Alright, so the rain has sort of eased up here quite quickly, as we knew as we knew it would, and uh, Russ has given us the call there to come into the pits onto the slicks. So, we're going to put them on softs, because I really don't trust the super softs. They'll melt away in like five laps, as we saw with the other drivers in their f the um, dry stint. I mean, I think they went through... Three, two and a half, I'll say two and a half because they start on the Q2 tyre in about 20 laps. So, you know, we're definitely going to go on the softs here. It's the right move, in my opinion. Recharge the ERS. Are we far enough from the pit lane, actually? No, we're not really. Um, Alright, boys, give it another lap. Yeah, 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 get rid of the inters. I'm with you, I'm with you. Just get rid of the ERS first. So, softs. I'm, I'm actually very interested to see if the AI can make it work on the super softs. They're either going to have to um, really look after the tyres or pit again. So <laughs> that is interesting to see. I think I switched Russell's tyres. Ever since I made that mistake, I've been second guessing myself, which is silly because I've only made like one mistake doing that the whole my whole motorsport manager YouTube career. But, you know, crazy things have happened and do the same mistake twice. And Lando's used all his excess fuel. I turned down Russell's engine ages ago because there's no point pushing. But Russell got a bit of put. Uh, Norris got a bit of pushing power, so we give Russell a bit of pushing power as well. And we just got onto the slicks. And yeah, like I said, those super softs just aren't going to last. So we're just destroying the AI on strategy. We'll probably look to pit the, uh, to um, lap them if we haven't already. They're probably a lap behind as Ricardo's gone. Wait, what has Ricardo done there? I oh, know he's actually made it work onto the inters. He's just, he's just jumped on the inters really early, which I mean, I thought he jumped on the, the another set of slicks for one more lap and then jumped on the inters. So boys want to come in for inters now. Uh, where are they on the track? No, we've still got ages to the the pit straight. So use all your ERS lads. I think we have ages to the pit straight. We'll soon find out, won't we? If the ERS battery blows up. So if you don't know why I use all the ERS before they come in and why it's so important, because, I mean, I've never done it, but I think if you add too much charge than what they have at the battery over, um, over surges, surges, I don't know what this, the name of that, overpowers, and uh, it blows up, essentially, and you lose it for the whole race. So, I don't know, it never happened. I don't know if the cars bug it after that, because it doesn't sound too good, does it? 
But I never put in 100% because I'm not confident in my abilities to get it to zero just as he goes in the pit. But 75 is pretty safe. you just got to deplete it completely, pretty much. And it recharges. Even if it goes up to like 5%, you're still safe. But, oh, and I didn't pit. Oh, see, this is what I mean. I'm talking and I made a mistake. Damn, that's so nice. That's the second time in a row. I mean, I don't know. If, did I do it last time out? I'm not sure. To be honest, I've switched off a little bit mentally, but... Uh, that's fine. I mean, that's third place behind us, but he's a lap behind, so I wouldn't worry too much. <laughs> They're going to just tell the boys to call it now on the car. Conserve on the tyres, and we'll see if Norris can re-overlap Ricardo. It'll be quite interesting. He gets back fourth, Leclerc, but Ricardo's a farewell down the road. Farewell away. Just look after the tyres. I mean, look at them. They're going to have to fit again anyway, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe not. But... Yeah, pretty routine race. We knew it would be, but the weather, I mean, it added a little bit of excitement, but not really. It was, the real excitement comes from when you're making different strategy calls to the AI, which we did in a way. We do every race when we, get, we qualify in Q2 on the softs because our car's so darn fast, but yeah, different strategies create exciting races, let's be real. But Ricardo, will he go to the end of the race? I'm very interested. No, he won't, and we're going to lap him again. Literally, it doesn't mean anything to lap him again, but, I mean, not, not again. Relap him. Doesn't mean anything, but it's just interesting, isn't it? So, two laps to go here. We're going to watch Russell go around, looking after those tyres. I mean, Russell's done three stops. Ricardo's done six. And he's somehow still in third when he's done two pit stops more than fourth place for Stappen. So, that car does have a bit of pace today. We'll see in Park Ferme after scrutineering if it's cheating. But, um, here's George Russell on the final lap. Wins. The Mexico City Grand Prix by 20 seconds to his teammate and two minutes to Daniel Ricciardo. What a joke. But another Aston Martin 1-2. And it's going to be interesting to see if the, what sort of effect it has in the Drivers' Championship. Actually, now that I think of it, I think Norris won the last two. So he's broken Norris's streak and maybe started a streak of his own. But Russell, beautiful drive today. Had the strategy behind him and um, I didn't make any mistakes. But here we go on Russell's car. But on Norris's, and no, I think they have a legal car, or they didn't get caught, but yeah, good to see Red Bull up there properly. Maybe they've given Ricardo one of Gasly's good pass, because Gasly's just dropped down massively. Gasly actually got lapped twice, out of interest, and um, George Russell got faster slap as well to make it even more dominant. But two Brits, two Australians on the podium, we've seen that a couple times this season. Good to see my fellow Australian man up there continue through, and 71-point um, gap. Not too bad. Four ra oh, wait, four races to go? No, I think it's three races to go. Uh, 20, 21, 22, 23. No, four. Alright, well, four races to go. So the gap, we're going to get over 800 points. Is pretty exciting. But that was the Mexico City Grand Prix. Alright, interview with Autosport here. Ricardo's absolutely... I've already had that question literally like three weeks ago or something, it felt like. Brake builds finished. Fantastic to see. Let's see how good they are. Are they next year's car part? I can't remember. Wow, they're a good car part car parts that's for sure they've also got the same thing that other other set of brakes had so we give the new one to, Ru to norris and the old one to russell so it's not going to be as big as a gap there as they both get double boost from weight stripping now what's the next part that we d we do up here we're smashing the brakes out of the park i think we need to do another front wing i don't know how much better our front wings can get to be honest we are working on them right now so maybe we shouldn't do a front wing uh, 1670, 1658. How much better that we can't see because improve is shut. I can we go gearbox because it looks like gearbox is need, needs a bit of work there. So uh, we'll go that one. 194, that's got a level. We'll do that one. I'm just sort of looking here at how, how it goes up. You know what? We'll do that one, I think. 1687. So building a new gearbox there, great to see. I don't know if it's going to be much better than my current one. I didn't check. But hopefully, you'd hope so. But that will be all for today's episode. Look forward to getting those new brake pads on the car. But next up, we've got Interlago. Same track as today, but slightly different layout. When I mean different, I mean slightly, I think. But rain and practice and qualifying, which is always exciting in qualifying. It'd be great if it was race instead of practice, but maybe we can get some practice tyre running, but probably not because, I mean, we're not going to run on wet tyres if we don't have to in qualifying. So, yeah. That would be that will be that one all for today in Interligo. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. But I'm sure you already are. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.